Do you know which CRM dominates the industry right now? Capturing over 24% of the total market share, it's none other than Salesforce. Salesforce is built to help businesses stay on top of their customer relationships, but it has a wide product suite, and figuring out where to start isn't as easy as the experienced professionals. That's why we're focusing on Sales Cloud today, the most widely used part of Salesforce. We'll walk you through how to use it in a beginner-friendly way, whether you're very new to CRM or just need a better way to manage sales. Before using the platform, you need to sign up for an account, which works just like any other online service. Once you're in, the first thing you'll see is the dashboard. This is your home base. It gives you a quick look at all the key numbers and data points you need. The top navigation bar is where you'll find all the core features. The layout is organized into labeled tabs, home, contacts, accounts, leads, calendar, reports, and opportunities. Since these are standard terms, you'll know what they do right away. On the top right, there's a search bar for quickly finding information. Next to it, you'll see icons for notifications and settings. If you need help, look for the question mark icon in one of the corners. Clicking it provides immediate assistance. At the bottom, there's a built-in to-do list. This lets you assign tasks to teammates in just a few clicks, making team collaboration more efficient. These small yet practical shortcuts streamline everyday operations and improve productivity. One of the most fundamental elements of Salesforce is the management of accounts and contacts. An account represents a company or organization that you do business with. Creating an account is very easy here. Navigate to the account section and look for an option to create a new account. When you click that option, you'll be prompted to enter details about the company. You might enter the company name, the industry it belongs to, its location, and any other relevant information. You can even import your existing accounts to your Salesforce workspace. This centralized data makes it easier for you and your team to keep track of all interactions with the company. Contacts, on the other hand, are the individuals who work for those companies. To add a contact, go to the Contacts section. There, you will find an option to add a new contact. Clicking this option opens a form where you can enter the person's first and last name, email address, phone number, and even their job title. It's important to link the contact with the appropriate account, so you must type the account name into the provided field. Associating contacts with accounts ensures that every piece of information about a company's representatives is stored together, which makes following up and personalizing communication much easier. Once you have filled in all the details, you simply save the record and the contact is added to your system. Over time, maintaining accurate and detailed contact information helps you build stronger relationships as you have all the necessary context available whenever you need to interact with someone. If you are trying to convert potential interest into real sales, you need to manage your leads through Salesforce effectively. The process begins by capturing leads, which can happen through various channels such as online forms, events, or marketing campaigns. When a lead is captured, Salesforce automatically enters the basic details into its system. Once a lead is in the system, the next step is to assign it to a sales representative. This assignment can be done manually, but Salesforce also provides automated assignment rules that direct leads to the most appropriate team member based on criteria such as location or product interest. After a lead is assigned, the sales representative is responsible for following up with the potential customer. This follow-up might involve a phone call or an email to ask questions, provide additional information, and gauge the lead's level of interest. As you interact with the lead, you gather more details about their needs, their budget, and the timeline for a decision. This process of assessing a lead's potential is known as qualifying. If the lead meets certain criteria, it is marked as qualified, which means there is a good chance they might convert into a customer. Once a lead is deemed qualified, Salesforce allows you to convert it into other records, namely an account, a contact, and an opportunity. 
The conversion process is not that hard. All the information collected as a lead is automatically transferred to these new records. This ensures that nothing is lost in translation and that you have a complete record of your interactions. So, after a lead is converted, the resulting opportunity includes important details such as the estimated value of the deal, the expected close date, and the current stage of the sales process. It begins with initial contact and moving through phases like proposal and negotiation before reaching closure. As you work on an opportunity, you continuously update its stage to reflect its current status. For instance, if a proposal has been submitted, you update the opportunity record to indicate this progress. This step-by-step -step updating not only helps you keep track of where each deal stands, but also contributes to more accurate forecasting. Forecasting is another powerful feature of Salesforce that helps businesses plan for the future. Accurate forecasts are essential for making strategic decisions and allocating resources effectively. Salesforce's forecasting tools compile data from all the opportunities in your pipeline. The system considers factors like the deal size, the stage of each opportunity, and the likelihood of closing. By doing so, it creates a predictive view of your future revenue. To set up a forecast, you start by defining the criteria that matter most to your business. This might involve grouping opportunities by product, region, or sales team. Once these groups are defined, the system automatically updates the forecast as new data is added. The dynamic nature of Salesforce's forecasting means that you can rely on it for real-time insights, which is particularly useful in large businesses where conditions change rapidly. With accurate forecasts, you can make informed decisions about where to focus your efforts, whether that means ramping up resources in a high-potential area or re-evaluating deals that seem less promising. Effective time management is at the core of any successful business strategy, and Salesforce offers a comprehensive calendar feature to help you stay organized. The calendar in Salesforce is integrated with your CRM data, which ensures that every meeting, appointment, or task is linked to the relevant customer record. Imagine you have a follow-up meeting with a potential client. You can schedule that meeting in Salesforce and attach it to the specific opportunity or account. This way, all the context you need for that meeting is right there when you review your schedule. The calendar not only allows you to schedule events, but also sends reminders so you never miss an appointment. The ability to synchronize your Salesforce calendar with external calendars further enhances your efficiency and ensures that you are always aware of your commitments, no matter if you're in the office or on the go. Automation and artificial intelligence are among the most advanced features that will replace your manual work. Automation in Salesforce is designed to handle repetitive tasks that would otherwise consume a lot of time. This automation minimizes the risk of human error and ensures that every potential customer receives timely follow-up. Over time, as you set up more automation processes, you will notice that many routine tasks are handled without manual intervention, freeing up your team to focus on more strategic activities. Artificial intelligence in Salesforce is largely powered by a tool called Einstein. Einstein leverages historical data and advanced analytics to provide insights that help you prioritize leads and opportunities. This predictive analysis can be invaluable in a fast-paced sales environment, where being one step ahead can make all the difference. Data is the backbone of informed decision-making, and Salesforce recognizes this by offering wide reporting and dashboard features. Creating reports in Salesforce allows you to gather detailed insights about various aspects of your business. Let's say you want to understand your sales performance over the last quarter. You can generate a report that consolidates data from all your opportunities. The process of creating a report starts by selecting the type of data you want to analyze. Once you choose the relevant data set, you filter it according to parameters such as date ranges or specific teams. The system then compiles the information into a format that is easy to interpret. This detailed view of your performance can help you identify trends, measure the success of your strategies, and pinpoint areas that might need improvement. Dashboards take reporting a step further by providing visual representations of your key performance indicators. 
in Salesforce, you can create a dashboard that displays charts, graphs, and tables in one consolidated view. This allows you to see at a glance how your business is performing across various metrics. For instance, you might have a dashboard that shows your current pipeline, forecasted revenue, and conversion rates. The interactive nature of these dashboards means that you can click on any visual element to drill down into the underlying data. This makes it easy to identify the reasons behind a particular trend or to explore opportunities in more detail. Whether you are reviewing the performance of your sales team or monitoring the overall health of your business, the reporting and dashboard tools in Salesforce provide the insights you need to make data-driven decisions. So that's all about Salesforce Sales Cloud. Is there anything left that you want to know here? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.